Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So it is that time of year where I am gonna run you through my favorite products of 2020. And seeing as I haven't painted my face this morning, I thought I would just not only talk about the products that I have been loving this year, but actually showing you them in action. So if you guys wanna see my favorite products from serums and moisturizers all the way through to like lips and setting spray, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with serum and this guy I have been using every single day for the past like three months or so and it is the Renavit Brightening Saffron Serum and as you can see I'm almost halfway through so this has lasted me a long time and it's a really beautiful Ayurvedic brand. I love the scent of it. I believe this serum is actually put in copper vessels before it's bottled up because copper has beautiful like anti-inflammatory properties and I genuinely genuinely love putting this on. I actually put this on every morning before I meditate and oh my god the smell of saffron in this it just it brings me at such peace because I've got such a connection to this particular serum and my meditation routine and yeah I just love it so much and I believe the reason why it smells like saffron and the color of saffron is because like real pieces of saffron are put in it for a few days to basically soak up all the goodness that saffron can give you. So this is what my skin is looking like. So nice and glowy. I also love the Kanza like facial massage tool that Renavit do. It actually dates further back than the gua sha and the jade rollers. So it's an even older way of facial massages than a lot of the ones we see in like a lot of the shops and even on Amazon stuff. So yeah, I love, love, love the Kanza tool too, but this is my favorite, favorite serum of 2020. And then for moisturizer, I have two moisturizers that I've been reaching for this year. One of them is the Fenty Skin Moisturizer. This one has got SPF in it. I love this and underneath makeup it is just beautiful and then I also love the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. This is just the one without SPF, they actually do an SPF version of this but I think my favourite has got to be this one. I don't actually know which one I'm going to go for today but let's do half of my face with the Fenty and half of my face with the Benefiance. The Fenty one I love because it's got an SPF of 30 in there but there is no white cast. But it gives your skin nice and hydrated and also protected from any harmful rays. So this is the Fenty on this side. And I also love that it is refillable and like recyclable. So whenever you're done with this guy, you can recycle this. It's made out from glass, I believe. And then you can just get another one and reuse the same packaging again. And then this is my Benefiance Cream from Shiseido. I actually have been loving so much Shiseido this year. Actually, my favorite base is also from Shiseido. <laughs> and the reason why I really like this range is because it's made specifically for skin that is turned 30. And I turned 30 a couple of years ago and I'm just trying to look after my skin a bit more. And I really, really like this. So as you can see, this gives more of like a dewy finish compared to this side, but both equally as beautiful. I think this is my second tub, <laughs> but I love, love this one too. So moving on to foundation, my favorite base product has been the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. This is oil free and it's got SPF of 30 and the shade that I wear is Oak. I'm gonna zoom you guys in because I really want you guys to see the power of this guy. I'm gonna put it on with my beauty blender because this is like my favorite, favorite, favorite way to apply foundation. But I really want you guys to see how skin-like my skin looks, even though I've got quite a full coverage foundation on. I'm not gonna lie, I've been testing out some foundations that are launching next year, and you guys are gonna be blown away. I, like literally, I can't stop wearing them. <laughs> I actually wanted to include it in this video and then I realized I'm like, it's not even out yet. So anyways, this is the foundation and I'll show you just how beautiful it looks on the skin. I'm also filming in natural daylight. So you'll be able to see almost true to eye what this looks like. I mean, it's a little bit warm for me, but once I've got my concealer on, it will be more evened out. So as you can see, 
my skin is completely evened out. It's still got a really beautiful, subtle glow. It's not super matte. I've realized this year, especially like the last few months of this year, that I'm not really the biggest fan of like super full coverage matte foundations anymore. There are only a couple that I've been like, oh, that's pretty good. But in general, I've just been loving the more kind of like glowy, hydrated foundations. But as you can see, this is just one layer. I'm just giving it a good blend. You can kind of see my freckles peeking through. And I just love this base so much. And now I'm very quickly just gonna apply the rest of the foundation to my other half of my face. So I have my like usual favorites when it comes to concealers, like the Maybelline Eraser Eye, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and the L'Oreal More Than Concealer. Like those three are my top concealers ever. But this year, one concealer really, really, really did kind of blow me away, and that was the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. This packs such a punch. I'll show you guys in a sec. I'm just going to get this onto the inner parts of my eyes like this, and then also a little bit on the outer edges. And whatever's left, I'm just going to pop that onto my chin and forehead. And as I blend this out, you'll see just how beautiful the coverage is. It's very full coverage, but it feels so lightweight and whipped on the skin, which is one of the reasons why it really, really blew me away because I kind of get stuck in a rut when it comes to my concealer, but this one I absolutely love. I just love how flawless it is and how like smoothing it is. And honestly, my base right now doesn't feel like I have a lot on my skin, which is what I love. And it's definitely what I look for when it comes to bases, because I don't like feeling really like thick and heavy and cakey, unless I'm going for like full, full, full glam. <laughs> which let's face it, I haven't been wearing much makeup this year, but these are the things that really, really stood out to me. Moving on to setting powder. There's been only one setting powder that I've been reaching for. And this is, I, I can't even tell you how many of these I've gone through. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I use the shade number one and it looks so stunning in photos as well as real life. I just feel like it keeps me so nice and matte but in a way that it still looks fresh and healthy. It doesn't look dry or it doesn't feel dry on the skin either. I feel like this has been in my favorites videos for like years but I genuinely love this so much. If you're looking for a powder that doesn't give you that oily, t-zone or like oily nose then this is the one you need in your life as always i will link all of the products that i have mentioned and that i'm using in the description box below as you can see i dip it in maybe like two or three times and then like just press that into the skin i don't really like doing a bake for bronzer there's a lot of charlotte tilbury love going on but for bronzer i'm also loving the airbrush flawless bronzer from charlotte tilbury this melts into my skin like butter it doesn't skip it looks like a part of my skin if you know what i mean it doesn't really look like i've got a bronzer on because everything just looks so melted into the skin i'm just going to do half of my face so you guys can see the difference and if you're wondering the shade that I use is number two, medium. And this is totally a buildable formula. You can go quite heavy on it, but I just, I've been using this literally almost every time I bronze. You can see I've just hit pan, I wanna say like a few weeks ago I hit pan and I was like, oh my God. That's when I know when I really, really love something, when I hit pan on it. And to be fair, this is huge. I mean, look at this. It's like half the size of my face. So yeah, it's lasted me a very, very long time. But here you can see the difference, one side of my face. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side and just bronze all the same areas. Moving on to blush, there has been one blush that I've been using so much, and that is actually this cream blush right here from Fenty. This is called Petal Poppin. I think you can use this on your cheeks and your lips and stuff, but I love this as a blush. And I've been loving a lot of cream products on my cheeks this year, and even into like the winter. I just feel like it looks so healthy and so natural, and it doesn't look like you're wearing a blush it just looks like it's a part of your skin i feel like that's the kind of vibe that i'm trying to go for that any kind of makeup that i wear just kind of looks like it's more part of my skin than what it used to be a couple of years ago i feel like i used to go quite heavy with a lot of makeup and sometimes i still feel like i do like that everyone has been wearing that much makeup this year with obviously everything going on but i do feel like whenever i do paint my face it's even more exciting. I don't know whether you guys feel like that this year, but I feel like it's definitely sparked that like form of therapy. I used to always paint my face just randomly. This was like before social media. I think this is like MySpace days. I used to just sit there and just paint my face 
I then changed my profile picture <laughs> and all sorts. I just feel like I've found that spark again and loving painting my face for a reason. I very rarely used to wear makeup just for the sake of wearing makeup, but this year has made me realize that I do love wearing makeup for a special occasion. But this is what my cheeks are looking like. You can tell that I've got blusher on, but it's very like melted into the skin. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been obsessed with cream products recently and my highlighter is no different. And if you've watched any of my videos or if you've followed me on Instagram or anything like that, you've probably seen this a lot. And it is the Becca Ignite highlighter in the shade Creativity. This is hands down the best cream highlighter you will ever try. And I mean, look at the bottle. This is gonna last me. I think another year or so because it is that big. You can actually use it all over your body. You can mix it in with a body oil. You can mix it in with a moisturizer. I personally just love it on my cheeks and I'll show you. There are two ways that you can totally apply this. I get about half a pump. <laughs> I can think of the word. Half a pump onto the back of my hand and you can either apply it with a brush or a beauty blender but I'll just show you with the brush how quick and easy and glowy and beautiful it is. I mean, look at that. I mean, the Becca highlighters are incredible, but it just looks like it's melted into my skin. I always get so many comments and compliments and questions about whenever I'm wearing this highlighter. It is stunning and it smells, it smells like holiday. <laughs> I very quickly primed and set my eyelids, so I've used the same concealer and setting powder for that. And I'm gonna show you guys my favorite palette of the year. One of the reasons why I love it is it because I feel like if I was a palette, this would be me. And I just love the shades in it. I love the names of all the shades and I just love everything about this palette. So this is the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. First of all, the packaging is beautiful, but second of all, the shades are just stunning. They've got shades called like Vibes, Opal Aura, Raw Energy, Meditate, Third Eye, Bloodstone, Good Karma. It's just, it's such a stunning palette. I am gonna just do a very basic eye. I don't feel like I'm gonna do anything like crazy dramatic. So I'm gonna get a mixture of Hexed and Antidote and put that into my crease of both of my eyes just to act as a bit of a transition shade. Seeing as I'm wearing this top, I think I'm gonna go in with Tiger's Eye, which is this shade right here. And I feel like the best way to apply these eyeshadows are with your finger. So I'm just gonna do one swipe and you can see the pigment on that is just beautiful. And it's almost got like this foiled effect. And I haven't dipped my finger back in. I'm literally just blending out with my finger. And I just, ugh, I love this palette so much. Same thing with this eye. It looks so creamy. It feels so creamy when I put it on my eyelids. And I feel like it's such an easy palette to work with. And seeing as I've got this on my eyes, I'm just gonna deepen the outer corners using the shade Third Eye until I'm happy with the way that it's looking. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of the shade Meditate just into the center of my eyelids, just to give it a bit of a gradient and a hint of pink in there. I'm just running a little bit of the shade Hexed onto my lower lash line just to make sure that that's matching the top smokiness of the eyes. For brows, I feel like I found my new favorite brow product this year and that is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. This is in the shade Universal Taupe and I love this product so much because I feel like you can really control the amount of pigment you want by the level of pressure you apply when applying this onto your brows. Uh, I just love the way that they look really, really natural and I love the spoolie on the other end. Honestly, the formula and everything of this is just fab. And then to set my brows, I've been loving the L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist. I used to use this a couple of years ago and it honestly kept my brows in place all day long and I feel like I've fallen back in love with it. It's so easy to use, the little brush on here is just brilliant for your brows as well. Mascara wise, it's gotta be the Falsies Lash Lift from Maybelline, but I actually feel like there's like no product in here. We'll give it a go, but I'm probably gonna have to put some of the telescopic mascara on top of it. This has been my current favorite. I feel like whenever I wear this, I get so many questions as to what I'm wearing. And this by no means is like a new product, but I've just been loving it. Actually, some of these products I'm pretty sure are not that new, but I just wanted to obviously share all my favorites. So I'm gonna go in with the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and if I feel like there's not actually that much left, I'll just top it up with some of the telescopic mascara. I don't feel like there are any false lashes that have really, really stood out to me this year. I love the Backstage Beauty lashes. I think they're one of my favorites and 
Um, seeing as we're on the subject of lashes, I really, really, really love the Ilior Lash and Line like Adhesive Eyeliner Pen. I think that is brilliant for anyone who's wanting to do the eyelashes in a hurry, is new at doing eyelashes, or just wants like to do two things in one go, like eyeliner and lashes in one go, I think it's brilliant. That's just a little side note about lashes, but I think I'm just gonna keep my eyes like this for now and move straight on to lips. So lip liner, I feel like there's no surprise here. It's gotta be Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my God, this is not sharp. And let's see how much I can get out of this. But I love this lip liner because it's so close to my actual lip line that I can get away with overlining if I want. I can actually like rub it kind of all over my lips. I kind of prefer this formula compared to the Pillow Talk lipstick, although I do love that lipstick. I feel like sometimes if I've got a nice lip balm underneath, I can just kind of wear this by itself. <laughs> But I'm just gonna finish lining my lips before moving on to lipstick. For lipstick, this is really hard because I usually get stuck in a rut and I use like the same lipstick again and again and it's like my favorite lipstick. But this year, one shade that I've just loved and I always get compliments on is the Lip Tinted Hustic in the shade True. This is such a stunning color and I'll show you guys. It's a very kind of my lips but better shade. You can actually use this as like blush, you can use it on your eyes. It's like a multi-use stick. I love this shade so much. It's a very me shade. If I was a hue stick, I would be this one. <laughs> if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you will know that I am all about the matte liquid lipsticks. I'm all about the matte lips in general, and I've never really been a fan of glosses. But this year, I feel like that's kind of changed because I've been wearing lip glosses so much and this lip gloss that I want to tell you guys about next is the one that I get so many questions on whenever I wear it on Instagram and it is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Glow and this is the shade Soulmate. I love this shade so much. It is such a stunning lip gloss. It's very comfortable to wear. It actually feels like a balm. It's got that tingling sensation of that lip plumper but this looks so beautiful with just your lip line and this on top. I actually really, really, really love it. Um, I think one of the things that I love most about it is that it feels like a lip balm. It doesn't feel like a gloss, like it's very moisturizing on the lips, but this is what it looks like. And then finally, last but not least, I have a setting spray I wanna share with you guys. The All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay will always hold such a close place in my heart, but there has been one other setting spray that I've loved this year. And it is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I genuinely love this so much. I mean, I haven't used that much of it considering, I mean, well, let's face it, 2020 has been a bit of a crazy year. But um, I love the way it spritz on my skin. Like I love the, the, the kind of, the long kind of misty spray, but I genuinely feel like my makeup lasts really long with this. So I'm just gonna get a few sprays of this. And that, you guys, is the end of my favorite products of 2020 video. And all of those products are on my face right now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know some of your favorite products of this year and what you're looking forward to next year because I feel like 2021 is gonna be a year that we all deserve of lots of positive, happy changes in all of our lives. But yeah, let me know what you're looking forward to in 2021. As always, all of the products that I've mentioned will be in the description box below. And thank you so, so, so much for all of your love and support this year. It honestly has meant the world to me. I feel like I've really found myself again. Although YouTube isn't the same as it used to be, you know, like two or three years ago, I'm just happy um, whenever I film. And I really hope you guys can see that through my videos. But yeah, I just wanted to say a very heartfelt thank you to all of you before ending this video. But I think this is it. I think this is the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe um, if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.